If you've never created an album in rows, I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is. To begin, you'll want to go to whcc.com. And if you have an account, you'll be assigned a number, and you'll use that number and your password to log into your account. If you don't have an assigned account number, you'll want to click on Become a Client, fill out the short information form, submit your information and wait for your account to be activated. So once that's done you'll come here, enter your account number, your password and log in. The first thing you'll want to do is launch Rose. If you have problems launching Rose, you will want to click on the click here to launch button. And in this case, I'm going to choose Open With. You could also choose Save File and install this onto your computer. And once you've done that, you can always use the um, shortcut on your desktop to activate your program. Okay, and here we have our user interface. Here is where you have your information, such as instructions, etc. Here's where you'll choose your product type. And once you've done that, you'll see all types of options become available to you. This is your working area, which will show you what your album looks like as you're working on it. And here is where you will select the images to add to your album. So to begin, we want to select our product type. And here you'll see everything that WHCC offers from photo prints, frames, image boxes, and more. I'm going to choose Press Printed Albums. And here you'll see some information that opens up. This will tell you about your Press Printed Albums, your combo covers, and the discounted sample program. If you ever want to create sample albums to use for display in your studio, you can order these at a 25% discount. They will include a sample mark on the front and back leaves. So with that done, I'm going to select square and then your size. You can choose from 6x6 to 12x12. I'm going to choose a 12x12. And here you can see you can choose from a 5 spread all the way to a 30 spread. They only have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So you'll want to make sure that you design your album to fit either one of these spreads. Because if not, once you get here, you're going to need to determine which spreads you're going to have to get rid of. So to avoid that, you want to make sure that you design an album that fits one of these spreads. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to choose a five spread album. And once I've done that, you can see that the options have opened up for me. I can choose what type of paper I want. Do I want a padded cover? What cover material I'd like to have? And to view these cover materials, you simply go to WHCC and you can look at all of these covers and see what they look like and make your decision. For your album covers, you have a choice. By default, it is set to the standard album. And you can see here that you will have a front, a back, and a spine. You also have the option of adding a combo cover. And if you drag this down to the working area, you see now that you have space for a cover image, your spine, and the back which is also covered in the material of your choice. So for this purpose, I am going to be using a combo cover. And what I'll do is I'll come over here and select the options I'd like. I'd like to have a satin luster coated paper, no padding. Now for my combo cover, you can choose whether you'd like to have the image on the front only or image on the front and back. And we'll see what that looks like. So see here you have space for image on the front and back, but I am only going to be 
adding an image on the front. So with that checked, I'll move down. You can see here I have custom photo cover checked. And you select what type of stitching you want, white or black. Now I'm going to go with white leather. So in this case, I will leave white stitching selected. Now onto my photos. What you'll want to do next is come over to folder, navigate to the folder that contains the spreads, and choose open. Now you can see here I have all my images available. So starting with my combo cover, I am going to click and drag that over to my working area. Now you'll want to make sure beforehand that all of these spreads are the exact proper size. So I have this pre-sized for my combo. And next, I'll begin to add my spreads. The next thing you'll see is a black end. This is the opening of your book and it has no photos, so you'll skip that. Now WHCC albums do not give you the option to have a left facing open page or a right facing open page. Your pages are going to begin with a two page spread. So you'll start by dragging your images. And you can see that it really is a very quick and simple process. And now I've reached the end of my album. So what I'll do is add this to order. Next, I'll review my order. And here you can see I have a 12 by 12, five spread album with 10 sides. I've got a combo cover, my leaf, and my spreads, and my end leaf. And here it tells you exactly what you've ordered, a non-padded cover, custom photo cover, white stitching, satin luster coated, image on the front only, and white leather. Now here you'll see your options. If you wanted this to be a sample album, which as you can see the sample is marked on the leaf, you would just click this button and then you'll receive a 25% discount. Your next option is your shipping. You will get free shipping to your address on file, but if you'd like this shipped directly to the client instead, you can choose drop shipping, or if you'd like to change the option from free two-day shipping, you could get next day air for an additional fee. If you'd like it drop shipped to a customer, you click this option, and then click the drop ship button, enter the details, and continue on from there. You can choose your order packaging. In this case, I'm just gonna go with the standard packaging. But if you'd like premium packaging, you can look at that on the website, see what you'd like to have, and then order it from there. Once you're satisfied that everything is as you wish, you will click on complete order. Here it's going to log into your account online and you simply click next. Now it's going to ask you how do you want to submit your order. You can send it now via the internet, save it for later via the internet, or save to a disk for alternate delivery. The simple and best way, I would say, would be to send now via the internet. Click on the next button, and once you're done, you will see a window that lets you know that your order has been submitted. Once you've submitted your order, you can check your order status anytime by going to whcc.com, logging into your account, and here you'll see your recent orders. 
you'll have an order number assigned and you can see the status of your order. It will say anything from received to processed to shipped. And once your product is shipped, you can hit your tracking information and it will tell you exactly when your order is going to arrive. Typically, WHCC has a two to three day turnaround for processing orders and they ship with two business day shipping. So typically you should have your order within seven business days.